Right here. So the MyMax gene is a gene that comes from the Texel breed. And the Australian White is a breed that was made out of four breeds. The Texel, the Pole Dorset, the Dorper and the Fenroy breed. And the gene came into the breed, Australian White, through the Texel line. We know that it occurs naturally in the Australian White population at about 20%. But it is a gene that accumulates. So if you don't search for it, check it, find out where it is, it'll accumulate in the breed anyway. And eventually the animals will all become like Texels and have double copies. And they will be called full myomax animals and they will all carry the gene. Now the gene is associated with extra growth, extra carcass yield, extra muscle in the loin, extra muscle in the rump some effect in the shanks. We're seeing a better effect in Australian white in the shanks than even we thought we would. So all those things are positive because they come for free. So once you've got the gene it's the same amount of grass they're eating, the same amount of tucker they go through, but at the end of the day they end up with this extra yield. Now classically the research shows that that extra yield is about 10% for a full myomax animal and about half uh, for a single. But that's within a pure breed. In crossbreeding, the effects vary quite a bit, uh, depending on the ewes that they started with and how much muscle their original flock would have. But producers find, all around the world where it's used, anything between a 20% and a 30% extra gain. So today you heard some to say, 30% is the common experience. Some of our own uh, buyers here that have been using Australian whites for a while that have bought Myomax animals are getting 20% around there. So if you calculate that over a thousand animals and you calculated what we're getting paid for, you can work out a kilogram return that that gene is giving you. However, the gene also has a slight association with reduced fat in carcasses in Texels, in other breeds. In this breed, our performance data that we're doing so far is not really recording significant fat reduction, which in a self-replacing breed like ours, designed for more western areas, is a good thing. We don't want to lose too much fat in the process. But we can only judge this over a period of time that we've been doing is three generations, five sales. So, and all the animals that have been tested in, in that gap. So, so far we can't pick it up. The laboratories can't pick it up. We have another big independent service company um, that is an agricultural research company. They running the performance data side and they're not picking it up, and we're not picking it up. So it looks like it's not really having a dramatic effect in this breed. But we need more data than that. So over a period of three to five years, between the geneticist, company Zuatis, and the performance recording company interfacing with one each other, we'll get a proper computer-generated picture of the breed, running it in three families. So running it in a family that carries one copy, no copies, and double copies. We'll be able to tell exactly how much increase in muscle and weight there is, how much the effect is on fat, and have a very pretty clear picture. But in the meanwhile, it means that clients can come to us and buy animals now and decide, do I want the full gene effect because my country can support it and my season can support it? Do I want half the effect, weighing both sides of the argument up because I'll be safe but I'll get that extra production. Or if they're guys that are out really in the back blocks of Queensland, or out in the far western division of New South Wales, in a drought where fat is important in their sheep to survive, they might decide, I want to go as non-carriers. And that gives them the option of tailor-making their buying decisions in one breed according to their own circumstances. And we think that's a huge advantage. But at the end of five years, we might dis discover through all of this that no, hang on a minute, there isn't much difference between one or the other, or there is. And that answer we need to know. Yeah. I'm hoping that it will, the logic will tell other Australian white studs that this is a great opportunity um, for them to get in in the beginning, control this gene in the, in the breed, organize their family lines accordingly so that they can give customers you know full transparent buying possibilities